We're here uh, right out, just coming off the uh, field, off the uh, walk, the mall walk uh, from the inauguration uh, here in the wa wonderful city of Washington, D.C. And uh, really love it. Uh, this is a, a historical moment for us uh, to see the first African-American president, the first people's president, um, uh, Barack Obama and his first lady, first African-American lady, Michelle. We say uh, our love, we said our love and support as an ordinary citizen. Uh, this is uh, 44 years to us, uh, so the 44th president, and this is uh, a year to remember in history for all mankind that Barack is not only for just African America, but Barack stands for all humanity, uh, all races. And uh, we see the beginning of a new era, and that's a peace era. I had always had hopes and dreams myself of seeing America and the world come together as one, just as God, our Creator, uh, had destined it for it to be. And I think that this is a, an awesome moment in history for us, and that's why we come from Columbia uh, by way of Alabama. My wife is from Georgia, and uh, we had a long struggle. And this struggle has, we seen peace. We seen a, you, you told us of peace being made. Dr. King, he died for it, for mankind to come together and justice to come together for all mankind and look it, it's finally happened and we're really grateful to God we give all the glory to God we're disciples from the Columbia Church of Christ and we want to say hello back to disciples at Columbia Church of Christ my sisters and brothers back home in uh, Detroit and Alabama uh, Huntsville uh, in, in um, we, you know Sandersville, Georgia, my mother-in-law from Sandersville, Georgia, Essie, we say hello to you moms. We love you so much. I'll say hello to my mother and father in heaven who had died, who wasn't able to vote. Uh, they died in 1962, six months apart. My mom died first in June 62, and my dad died on Christmas Day 62. They didn't get a chance to vote, but guess what? Their children got a chance. They didn't have health care or anything. To God be the glory. What did you, when you listen to the speech, how did that make you feel? What resonated with you? Uh, it just moved my soul. Uh, just It just was a part of uh, my dream, the part of King's dream. And it, it took me back to my mother's uh, uh, death side at her bedside when I was five years old. It just recombinated what my mother said about all human, human beings are the same. We're all from God and we're coming together for a common cause and that's for love and peace. And it just stirred my heart and motivated me to say that we can be all we can be. First having a godly spirit and of humanity and love and peace. Love covers a multitude of everything and that really stirred my soul and spirit.